So we're back with a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim. And my guest today is the one and only Rob Curley, who is the, wait, South Jersey Coastal Market President for TD Bank. Did I get that right? You got it right, Tim. Thank you. And P.S. We walk really slow during these things. I, and just so you guys know, we walk really slow. It looks like we're walking fast, but we're not. So, um, so Rob has been with TD Bank for 32 years. It's been a long time. I'm a lifer. He's a lifer. So my first question for Rob is basically this, like, look, you know, 32 years with TD Bank, that's a long time. So, you know, how do you keep what you do fresh and fun? Because, you know, who the hell wants to go to work every day and, you know, not have a good time or not, not enjoy what you do? Well, I think the exciting thing about my job is every day is different. It's not going into a cubicle and, and, and moving papers around and, and crunching numbers. I'm actually out meeting with business owners, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, all kinds of things. And I learn something new every single day. And I think that's what really keeps my job fresh is I'm always learning about different industries, different people. I've made a lot of friends, a lot of contacts. And that's what I, that's what I enjoy. And that's why I keep doing what I'm doing. So when we were walking around and, and you all know, I, I asked like lots of questions before we do these uh, interviews. Uh, so one of the things that Rob said was, is basically he's kind of like a, a, an old school banker at a big bank, you know? And, you know, I've had a lot of experience with, with bankers over the years. And, you know, that's like my favorite thing. I love that you're, that's your, that's your feeling. That's your motto with banking, you know, like you want to give that um, experience to your clients, right? You know, right. so talk, talk a little bit about that, you know, like how that impacts you and how treating your clients that way impacts them. Well, I think, you know, obviously technology is a big thing today, but when you're, when you're a business owner and you've put your life savings into your business and you, you, you want to bank <laughs> more than your life savings. Yeah. yeah. You borrow money, your you, house, you your, your house car, up. your kids, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, you, all those things are on the line. You want to deal with a, per, a, a person who has compassion and, and feelings for what you're right. co- trying to accomplish. And I think that's what old school banking is. We, it's a human business. It's a it's a belly to belly business, as we call it. And I think that's what we bring to the table is we, we want to be your partner. We want to be your friend and we want to support your business because we know you have a lot on the line. And, and small business is really what runs our country. I was just going to say, and somebody who gets that you have everything on the line while you're trying to make your your business work, even stuff you don't have, we try to we try to put we try to take. So <laughs> exactly, you got to lean on everything. You know exactly. what I mean? Something like that. So the the one of the other things we talked about, which I think is super important, and I ask everybody about, is what's your passion outside of work? You know, so um, one of the things you mentioned was one of your favorite charities, and you go ahead and tell them what it is: the Patriot Fund, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm involved with several nonprofits and charities, but one of my favorites is the, the Patriot Fund. It was started by a friend of mine from high school, Cherokee High School, by the way. <laughs> um, and, you know, it, it's it, it's fun for me because it's a, it's, it's, it's like a startup. And, right. and we're making a difference in, in the lives of veterans with PTSD and we're, we're purchasing service dogs. And it's a, it's a great group of business people from South Jersey who care about veterans. And because it's a new a new venture, we're having a lot of fun creating it. And finding opportunities to, to support our, our veterans, and it, it's just been it's been a very rewarding experience. P.S. One of my favorite things is that fact that you know anyone that supports veterans. It's just you know I don't think they get enough attention. I don't think enough people pay attention to what's going on with our vets, and that's awesome that you're doing that. And I want to get involved. By the way, all right, you're, you're involved. I'm in. I'm in. So, so so next is. 32 years at the same bank, 32 years doing the same thing. And so what, what's next? Like, what do you have lined up for your future? Like, I mean, what would you, what, what are you going to do next? What's, what's next for you? Well, you know, I'm 53 years old. <laughs> As I, am I. I. I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy giving back to our community. I love being involved in our community. So I hope to finish my career doing what I'm doing because I love it. And you know, after that, I'll probably get involved with the nonprofit in some capacity, uh, maybe an executive director or something, because I'll, I'll never see myself actually retiring because um, I, I have too much energy and, and I like to constantly be moving. Um, but I really enjoy what I do, and I, I hope to finish my career out doing what I'm doing. Yeah, me too. So 
I think that um, one of the other uh, nonprofits that you said that you're involved in was, um, what was the second one? Uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Canada. Ah, yes. So lots of folks are involved with the Boys and Girls Club around here. It's very popular. And I mean, they raise a ton of money as well. So what do you do with them? So, so I was one of the founding board members of the Boys and Girls Club of Camden County. That's huge. Um, you know, Camden is, is, a, is a difficult city to grow up in and, and they have a lot of challenges. And you know, I've been involved with them since the year 2001 when we opened. Um, and it's just been a passion of mine because I, I really feel like we make the, a difference in the lives of these children who, who don't have a lot of hope and they don't really know what exists outside of Camden. Right. Um, so, you know, I've been involved in a lot of different capacities. I was board chair for five years most recently, and it was a very rewarding experience because, you know, we helped transform the club. We raised a lot of money during those five years, and, and we're on a very, in a, in a very good footing now where we're making a difference on, in the lives of a lot of kids, and, and that's what's important to me. Yeah, that's good stuff. I mean, I, I support the Boys and Girls Club as well. I'm not involved, but I do support it, so it's good stuff. I think that uh, that's also another thing that, you know, is so important is to support, you know, our local communities through our through the kids that are uh, coming up and having trouble and need help. So, um, and, you know, in, in doing that, like, you know, uh, what what is it that, that people don't know about that? Like, if they want to get involved in, in things at the Boys and Girls Club and the Patriot Fund, like, you know, because right. there's tons of people that can probably help out and be involved in, in some of the things that you're doing. So how would they find out about that kind of thing? So, so I try to get involved with organizations that need help and a lot of people think the boys and girls club they have great brand recognition they're nationally known yep. and everybody thinks boys and girls club of america well they really provide very little support if none at all it's all county to the, right? To, right to the local cha chapter so so these local chapters live and die by their local board members right. who help raise money for their organizations and without the local support they wouldn't exist because the boys and girls club of america is a completely different uh I guess group for lack of a better word um, and the same thing with the Patriot Fund we try to pick nonprofits that support veterans with PTSD that aren't the national ones where they have extensive payrolls and expenses I thought we were gonna get run over there for a second you see that it's a mail truck <laughs> that would not have been good no um, yeah so we try to pick pick those nonprofits that don't get the support and the recognition that a lot of the big ones get yeah. because we want our money to go as much as possible to the people that need it. Roger that. So if you could give a piece of advice to any small business or any young entrepreneur coming up through the ranks and trying to figure out their game, what would it be? Well, I, a, I, think a, I know it's a big question, well, but I think, I think it's a couple things. I think, you know, number one, you know, you should pick a bank that, has a personal relationship with you, whether it's a TD bank, it could be any local bank in your community. Pick a bank where you have a human being to work with that gets the time to understand your business and what you need to survive. Um, because there's a lot of FinTech banks coming up in, in our business that are very easy sometimes to borrow money from, but they're not giving you advice, they're not giving you the best things to, uh, to run your business. And, and then the second thing I would say is get involved with your community whether it be a chamber, a nonprofit, something you're passionate about, because at the end of the day, everything is back to networking. You know, I, I, I'm successful because I network. Tim's successful because you network. A little you know, bit. And, and, and that's, what, that's what makes the world go around. I tell okay. my kids all the time, networking is where it's at. And if you're a small business owner, you gotta get out into the community and, and make an impact. Absolutely. So if people wanna get hold of you and or TD Bank, how do they do the, those two things? Well, you can find me on LinkedIn, yep. uh, although I don't always check that very much. <laughs> um, or you can email me at robert.curley at td.com. Uh, or you can even call my cell phone, 609-256-3858. My cell phone is all over the place, so don't ever hesitate <laughs> to call me. And what and TD Bank is just... So, so TD Bank, we're the eighth largest bank in the U.S. We're headquartered in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, which is kind of a, a unique advantage for me yeah. because, you know, Although I am a decision maker in my local market, every other decision maker at the bank is located in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And, and, and we're very proud to call this our home. We have 8,000 employees in New Jersey nice. uh, because this is our headquarters and this is our home. Awesome. Well, there you go. Rob Curley, TD Bank, my man. Thanks for watching. Keep on moving. And we will see you next time on Walking and Talking with Tim.